Morning. Beautiful day out here at the hemp grounds. Just thought I'd uh, try and answer the question about why hemp. So the reason I got into hemp is because we're looking at building a house. We're going to build a house shortly. And upon researching that, we found this product called Hempcrete. Hempcrete seems to be a super product. It's got such fantastic building performance characteristics that you can build a house that doesn't need air conditioning or heating because it's got such a high R value, that is insulation value, when you build a 300 thick wall. But unlike normal insulation vats, it doesn't just keep the heat out. The cell structure of hemp plants actually means that you hold water in the cells in relation to the humidity. And that means you get a couple of things. One is thermal mass, because water is a very good source of holding, holding heat. It's kind of the why weather works and the planet actually exists, because water's got this huge heat holding capacity and then so that that keeps the temperature inside each room very stable because you know if you say have a 35 degree day outside you've got the insulation factor of keeping the heat out but then you've got the water in the cells of the hemp keeping the temperature from the night before so the the cooler overnight temperature keeping that temperature stable inside the house so inside the house it just stays an average of the day and night temperature over the long term so it could be 45 degrees outside but it's 25 degrees inside without aircon and that's been the case and it's it's examples of that in lots of hemp houses that are built so hempcrete is great as a thermal building product so for the environment that's awesome because people are going to use a lot less electricity not using aircon and heating and whatever but also it is such a massive carbon sink because it's a plant plants use sunlight and water and carbon dioxide to make oxygen and plant matter that is carbohydrates sometimes it's edible So they just are absorbing carbon dioxide to build, build themselves, to build the structure of the plants. So if you've got a hempcrete wall, it's absolutely chock-a-block full of carbon dioxide effectively. And if your house sits there for a long time, that carbon dioxide is stored for a long time. So that's fantastic for the environment. And then on top of that, the lime binder that's mixed with the hemp in the hempcrete continues to absorb carbon throughout its lifetime. It's just insane. It just keeps getting better. So the house is carbon negative when you build it and it keeps removing carbon out of the atmosphere. So hempcrete as a building product is just epic. The problem is You can't get it in Australia. Well, I mean, you can. There's a few limited supplies and options, but the industry is absolutely tiny because of a few logistical challenges and uh, processing hurdles, but they're what I'm interested in trying to solve. Um, so if you build a hemp house in Australia at the moment, most of the time you're importing the hemp Europe, which is kind of ridiculous because then you defeat all the good things that hemp's for because you're shipping it across the world so that's why i wanted to grow hemp and then when i was looking into it it just keeps getting better and better and better because hemp for the soil is fantastic we've got this long tap root going out maybe we wouldn't call that long at this point but the taproot has these advantages where it can, um, it buries down into the soil to get deeper water, but it opens it up like 
drill bits. So we've got like 1.6 million little drill bits here boring into the ground to open it up, loosen it up. So you're getting deep nutrients up from the deeper layers in the soil because the, all the nutrients are there, they're just deep. And that's why the trees grow because they've got long, deep roots. And water is deeper. But when you make the soil, you put drill bits into the soil, natural drill bits, you allow pathways for water and bugs. And then also you leave the root there and it is carbon for the soil. And carbon in the soil is basically the best determinant of best single unit metric of soil health but it's carbon, right? So that's carbon into the soil. That's more CO2 out of the air. Soil carbon has all of these awesome benefits as well, including um, flood prevention and drought tolerance. And that's, um, that's a whole nother discussion, but that's hemp does that as well. And then, so you get the building product out of the hemp, but you also have hundreds of other products. So I, I'm trying to see if we can harvest both the seed and the hempcrete material, the herd, the woody inside. And then we still have the bark to use for fiber or paper or whatever we want to. So the opportunities are just endless. It's only been legal to grow it in New South Wales since 2017, uh, 2007 for the hempcrete and the fiber. And then in 2017, it's become legal to harvest it for the seeds as well, which is another important part of the um, crop for producing a profit off it which is important for farmers obviously so i'm going to try and figure out if we can do that harvest the seed and the fiber um, it means inventing some gadgets so anybody knows any good in gadget inventors please let me know uh, so yeah that's kind of why hemp that's seven minutes there you go and there's still more to it but it's pretty exciting because our plants are just ripping along I don't know if you can see that so yeah keep supporting if you can uh we're getting somewhere